going to be making white chocolate and cranberry cookies this morning. So I've got the ingredients here. I've got the butter, dark brown sugar and caster sugar there. Um, plain flour, baking powder, rolled oats. I've got some really like nice jumbo ones here, but you can use whatever sort of size you like. Um, an egg, dried cranberries and white chocolate chips. Um, this makes around about eight large cookies or you could have like half that 16. The great thing about this, if you're only two of you or one of you at home, you can make this mixture, put it into balls and you can freeze it and then take it out of the freezer when you want to let it frost and then bake them. So you don't have to bake them all in one go, but I have to say they don't last very long. They are exceptionally lovely to eat, so they go very quickly in our house. So I've um, beaten the sugar so dark brown sugar and the castle sugar with the butter so it's nice and creamy now now i'm going to add the egg the flour and the baking powder and oats and mix that together so i mix those ingredients together i've now added the white chocolate chips and the cranberries and i'm going to mix those in it is quite a stiff mix but um you don't want it too you don't want it runny otherwise the cookies or biscuits, whichever you prefer to call them, will run all across the baking tray. So I'm just going to mix those in now. So it's all mixed together nicely now, and I'm going to take like a handful, roll it into a ball, and then I'm going to put this on a lined baking tray. Depends how big you want them, say, if you want really large ones, smaller ones, it's completely your choice. So I've moulded those into balls and what you need to do now is just press them down very lightly with a fork. Don't put them too close together otherwise they'll cook into each other. And I'm going to pop them in a preheated oven 180 degrees for about 10 to 15 minutes. Okay, so they're out of the oven now, they're sort of light golden brownish. They are still a little bit um, soft to touch on the top of them but um, they will firm up. So I'm going to leave them on here for about five minutes then I'm going to put them on to a cooling rack until they're really cool. This is a really good recipe to get children interested in cooking. So many young people don't know how to cook nowadays so it is a nice little bit of indulgence but who doesn't like a nice cookie with a glass of milk? You could change the fruit so I would say maybe something like dark chocolate chip and apricot. There's lots of combinations that you can try out. Um, happy cooking!